Everything that has ever existed in the universe since the Big Bang, all have seen their end at some point. And if not now, soon, anything that has been brought into existence is destined to see its end. Then, what about the universe? It also took birth with the Big Bang, but have existed ever since. Would there be any end to it? Or would it continue to exist to eternity? Well, not really. The universe too is expected to experience its death. And owing to our understanding of it, we have proposed five possible doomsday scenarios that will ultimately lead to the death of the universe. Number one, the heat death. This is the most discussed scenario in the scientific community, which says that as everything functions on the principles of entropy, or you can say the irreversible course of action. Therefore, over an extremely long time scale, there would come a time where the universe would have reached a state of maximum entropy, where all energy gradients are dissipated and matter is evenly distributed. Consider this scenario. Whenever an explosion occurs, whether being a small firecracker or a deadly nuclear bomb, it follows a time period from the initial point of trigger to the end where it ultimately stops, having caused whatever it is capable of. What causes that stop? It is the scarcity of energy that ceases the explosion process. Same as the case with our universe. Our universe is a result of a massive explosion, the Big Bang true nature of which is way above human understanding. And we are in the due course of that explosion where energy is still dispersing the matter away from each other. And there will come a time where this process will gradually slow down and ultimately stop. This is what we call the heat death of the universe. Moving forward, the second possible way our universe could experience its death is the big freeze. It is somewhat similar to the first one with an exception. It says that the expansion of the universe would reach its height when everything would be so much far away from each other and the matter would be so much dispersed that there would be no gas, no dust. In short, no accumulation of matter leading to the birth of stars, planets, solar systems and galaxies. And the existing celestial bodies will reach their ultimate end. Later, if not sooner, leaving the universe in a cold state of nothingness. Another theory suggested proposing the end of the universe is known as the Big Rip, which says that a time will come when the universe will ultimately tear itself apart. Okay, to make it understandable. Let's rewind back to the explosion. We observe that when an explosion occurs, the whole process from the initial point of trigger reach a state where the energy particles are charged at their extreme that is where it reaches the maximum potential of its impact. Similarly, since we are a product of that explosion and that explosion has not ended up until now, and in a state of continuous progression, we do not know when it will reach its state of maximum potential or whether it has gone through in the past. Though, looking into the Big Rip scenario, it says that the universe has yet to experience that phase. And whenever it will reach there, that would be a doomsday scenario for our universe. Moreover, a totally opposite theory leading to the death of the universe was proposed, known as the Big Crunch. It says that unlike the dark energy shaping the course of the end for our universe, actually it will reverse and gravity will overcome the dark energy. Therefore, all the matter existing in our universe, namely the planets, stars and galaxies, will become so much gravitationally powerful that they will start to attract each other. And over a course of time, they will all accumulate into a point of infinite, from where the original Big Bang occurred 13.8 billion years ago, thus declaring the end of the universe. While this proposal of the universe's death is highly controversial and greatly lacks our current understanding of the universe, but lastly, this proposed way suggests the end leading to a new life of the universe. The Multiverse Hypothesis It says that our universe might be just one of many universes within a broader multiverse. One version of the multiverse theory stems from the concept of cosmic inflation, which proposes that as the universe was in its early stages of formation, 
the expansion might not have been uniform, leading to the creation of bubble-like regions with distinct physical characteristics, each representing a separate universe. Therefore, if there occurs a doomsday scenario for our universe, the multiverse would always be there, existing with its own realities. Thus, our universe would transform into a new phase. It's important to note that these scenarios are based on current theoretical models and the understanding of fundamental forces and constants. The actual fate of the universe may depend on factors that we are not yet aware of, and ongoing scientific research continues to refine our understanding of these complex questions. Till then, keep looking up at the sky.